Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris with Inside the U back here again, fall camp preview video. I listened to what you guys had to say on the last one. I'm going to talk about wide receivers. Also, I'm going to do a double upload today with 100 likes and also drop in the comments what position group do you want me to do next. But definitely wide receivers, there's a lot to talk about. I know many of you are curious to see what happens in fall camp. So let's get right into it. Why the wide receivers have a lot to prove. A number of guys looking to step up. Miami enters fall camp with nine wide receivers on the roster. Their top two guys from a year ago have moved on. And Charleston Rambo who set the single season record for receptions and yards in a season by a Miami receiver. And Mike Harley had a bunch of receptions as well, 57 for him. And those two combined for 46% of the receptions a year ago. So certainly wide receiver during fall camp is going to be a position to watch for. I think many people, including Tyler Van Dyke, left the spring a little unsure of what the wide receiver position is going to look like in this season. Tyler alluded to that. He actually said that recently at the ACC kickoff, the media event talking about the season. And he just kind of said, he's just curious to see who steps up. He knows somebody has to do it. And I think that's what the general consensus is. There is talent at the position. It's just a lot of unproven guys or the guys who have played and gotten some playing time. They just have to take their game to the next level. Personally, I think the guy that is going to lead this receiver group during the season and have a good, strong fall camp is Clemson transfer Frank Latson. He's a guy I watched quite a bit in high school. I think he showed flashes while at Clemson. You know, with 31 catches, he had six touchdowns in his career at Clemson, dealt with some injuries. He's looking to put that behind him. And also, one thing that's good about Frank is his size at six foot three, but also he's a guy that can get downfield. And I think that's where he's going to excel. I think that's where he can just get that connection with Tyler Van Dyke throwing the ball downfield like we saw last year with Charleston Rambo. Rambo spoke quite a bit about how good Tyler was at the deep ball. And I think it's only a matter of time, even though we didn't see it a bunch during the spring, I think it's only a matter of time before he connects with Frank. And I think he's going to be a downfield threat while at Clemson average about 14 yards per catch. I think that's a good number. Certainly, you know, you'd like to get guys anything over 15, closer to 20 is fantastic. But a guy that's going to catch a lot of passes, because I do think Frank can catch passes utilizing his size and be ready to make good targets, you know, from the short game as well as that medium range on some third and medium, third and long situations. So Frank's got to step up. He knows that this is year four in his college career. I do think he's ready to go. By all accounts, this is a guy that just loves football. He loves the game and just wants to get to really show it. And going back to his high school days, you know, that that is something that I saw quite a bit. You know, essentially each and every game he brought it outperformed other big time corners or whoever it might be he just did well and I think we just didn't see enough of that in the spring um, and we weren't out there all of the time in certain reps we were able to see a lot of drills and that's what you guys are watching right here we did see a lot of drills so Frank Ladson look for him to step up he's got to have a good fall camp I think he's the guy to really watch for because I do think he can really elevate his game and put together one of those really good individual seasons this year and certainly Miami needs to do that Two other guys who I think at this point going into fall camp are the ones, in addition to Frank kind of being this trio, is Keyshawn Smith, who led Miami's returners in receiving a year ago. It was his first year as a starter, had about 400 yards catching. I think he learned a lot about last year, and he kind of settled into his role as a younger guy behind Harley and Rambo in terms of catches, but he did start all those games. And I think he just has to take his game to another level. I touched on yards per catch with Frank Ladson. You know, Keyshawn's a guy that was around that 12 mark, and I do think Keyshawn, and we did see him go deep a little bit, or at least get behind the defense at times last year, and it was great in the sense that he drew some pass interference calls, drew some penalties, but I'd like for him to be able to grab those contested catches, even if there's contact, even if you're going to go ahead and get the penalty, because, you know, not only is it a big play, but in college, it's only a 15-yard penalty on that pass interference. It's not like the NFL where you get a spot foul. So I think Keyshawn, you know, his ability not just to keep getting downfield, which is great, but just those contested catches, go ahead and come down with them. I think the year of experience is going to help him. And Xavier Restrepo, 
just seeing him this summer, I think you're going to see even another jump out of him from a, from last year, which we saw in that 20 catch range. I think he's a guy that could also have a good year. And I think if you're talking about maybe who's going to be the most reliable, certainly with everything that we see out of Xavier from, from practices, he's just one of those guys that leads. Coaches know that. These new coaching staff, they've already recognized it. So Xavier looks a year older. Um, coming into year three for him, I think he's kind of the man to beat there in the slot. And those are the three receivers. It's not to say these other guys can't surpass those three guys. I just think at this point, those are your more experienced guys in terms of games played and catches. It is up to the other guys to really step up. There's six other guys. Drop in the comments below. Which ones are you most excited about? Essentially challenging the guys that are more experienced. Who, who do you think can really break out? Because these guys did get experience last year. A lot of these guys in their first year. So let's talk about them. Romelo Brunson. Missed the spring with an injury. He's a guy that's intriguing. Only seven catches. He had that really impressive touchdown catch a year ago. But Romello's one of those guys that can kind of fit in on the outside at six foot two. But also, you know, he can also maybe in that medium range. Because Miami, right when I've touched on those three receivers, it's kind of a small, medium, large type thing in terms of their size. You know, Restrepo at 5'10. You know, Keyshawn Smith at 6'1", and then Frank at 6'3". So Brinson's right in that 6'2", but I do think he's kind of in that Frank Latson mold in terms of where they want to put him on the field. So look for look for Brinson to to do well in the, in the fall. After missing the spring, I know he's got a lot to prove because he's a guy that definitely wants to, to be one of those top three guys. And it's hard to say he's going to definitely do that until we see more out of him. But fall camp... Not just those three guys that I mentioned before, but Romello, all of these receivers, it's a wide open thing in terms of competition because this is a new coaching staff and there's still not a lot of proven guys among this group. Jacoby George is very intriguing to me and I think many of you see why he's intriguing to me and is also intriguing to you guys because he really flashes. He had a really strong end of the season last year. He's a guy that can make acrobatic catches. He's a guy that just makes a ton of catches. That's what he did at a high school level. He can make those tough catches. He just has to be consistent in practices and really earn the trust. And if he's going to be the guy, this is year two for him. Really step up, use his athleticism, and really just take his game to the next level. I think it's been mentioned in terms of his athletic ability and his ability to make catches, really good catch radius out of Jacoby, but he also has huge hands for a guy right there. So again, Keyshawn Smith was in that role last year. If Jacoby's going to kind of take his spot or kind of elevate and, and get over him in terms of the depth chart and things like that and more reps, a good fall camp will certainly set the tone. And it'll be interesting to see if he's going to be able to do that. He does have ability, just like the rest of these guys. It's just a matter if he can kind of put it all together, kind of avoid the drops that we see at times during practices, and then just really make those consistent deep catches because he's a guy that can do a lot. He can kind of move inside if they need him to, catch catch passes over the middle, but also stay on the outside, run some post patterns, and get downfield as well. And I think that's what makes him so intriguing to me because he's a guy that, to me, can do a lot of different things and he can come down with the ball. So Jacoby George, in terms of maybe an X factor, maybe most intriguing in terms of we haven't seen a ton out of him. Seven catches a year ago with one score as well, just like Brinson, but he's a guy that also could definitely really step up and have a really good fall camp. We'll see how he does. And then the other guy, um, because I do think it's a kind of a three and three and then an extra three in terms of kind of breaking down this group of nine. And that's Burchard Smith settling into that role as, you know, with Xavier in the slot role there. And Burchard last year got 14 catches in his first year, a couple scores. And you see what makes him a really exciting player because he can get downfield in a hurry, makes big plays. He has that speed and quickness. And obviously right now, Xavier's just ahead of him in terms of playing time and experience and production at this point. But Burchard has to enter fall camp that it's not Xavier's job and that he's going to come out and take it. Because again, I don't know how often I can keep mentioning this, but it's a new coaching staff. This is a new staff that you can impress the new coaches because all across the board, whether it's the coordinator, head coach, your position coach, and Coach Gaddis is doing both. You know, these guys have a chance to really impress, and I think Burchard's got to be a guy that has to look at that and have a good fall camp. 
The other three guys I want to mention, Michael Redding the third. He's got to stay healthy. We've seen flashes out of him. He only has four catches in his career, kind of in that bigger receiver mold at 6'2". And then a couple new guys. Isaiah Horton at 6'3", very intriguing. I saw him in the summer, not catch passes, but just walk around the facility at camps and things like that. I think he looks great. We'll see if he can kind of jump in there and, and be a part of that top six group. And then the last guy I want to talk about is Colby Young, a Juco wide receiver, 6'4". His Juco coach really liked him in an article that I talked to him about that I posted on InsideTheU.com earlier this summer. Colby's a guy that's not as experienced in terms of going against top competition as the rest of these guys, but at six foot four, maybe he can find himself a role because he is the tallest receiver of the group. So we'll see how everything kind of plays out there. And just wrapping everything up, like I said, drop in the comments below 100 likes on this video. I'll do a double upload today. But definitely also in the comments, let me know what position group do you want me to do next as we look at fall camp just around the corner. But also, what did I get wrong? What did I get right? Who are you most excited about in terms of this wide receiver group? Are you confident that somebody can really step up and be a guy that catches over 50 passes like they had with two guys a year ago? So we'll see how everything shakes out. Wide receivers, definitely stay tuned to the channel when fall camp begins because they are always right in front of us and they're always a lot of fun to watch in terms of drills whether it's catching passes or just kind of going through different route type situations. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you have a good rest of the day and take care.